So uh, today we're going to be trying to fix a HP 8440p. Um, I don't know if, let me see if I can turn on the light here. You can see right there it's an 8440p. Um, this is uh, an i5 core, pro uh, core processor. Um, the problem I'm having actually after I booted this is that the brightness setting won't change so what was happening is 25 percent to um 75 there would no there wouldn't be any major difference through the brightness 25 50 75 and then 100 i'm gonna do it again just so that um i can duplicate the uh the problem so you would normally think this is a driver problem no um i actually updated the um i checked for updates for windows for this countless of times i even checked for windows updates i went to the hp website for the uh for a solution and um none of that seemed to um do anything actually i just wasted time doing all those and um as you can see i'm up to date with the updates if you can tell uh, if the damn thing would focus, I don't know, but yes, uh, it's it's not it's not focusing. But anywho, <laughs> that was a problem. And no, it's not a monitor issue or a driver display um, issue. But um, I think it's it has something to do with more of the the built-in features of this laptop. These are like ten, nine to ten years old um, HP Elite books. Don't get me wrong, they're worth. They're still worth keeping for the for the power they have. Depends on what you're going to use them for. So you see that dot down there? This one? That is an ambient light sensor that they built in. Um, I don't know if it will use. Probably for auto dimming for um, for certain uh, people who doesn't want to mess with the brightness themselves. Now I'm just going to try to duplicate the problem again. And I'll show you how to fix it. So brightness setting. Let me zoom in again. The brightness setting. Okay, 100, 0. Looks the same. Looks the same. Looks the same. And boom. Now, okay, let me show you how to fix that. You're gonna have to like, you're gonna have to restart. <clears throat> let me show you real quick. Let me get this camera positioned. And get ready to press the F10 key when you get the get the chance. Escape, or escape key, whatever. You go into BIOS, just press Escape. And press F10. Set up BIOS real quick. Let me get a better close-up look on this. Okay, so you have your file security con system configurations. Um, just try to. Um, using the uh, numpad keys, I mean the arrow keys, of course. That's what you're gonna do. So go to um, system configuration. Remove the laptop. Damn it. It's gonna be messy as hell. Okay. Go to um, built in device options. I want it load. Okay, do it again. Built in device options. Okay, so you see down here, it says ambient light sensor. Um, you're going to have to turn that off. Because um, from what I can tell, from that this sensor, it, this is the ambient light sensor. I'm just saying, this is probably broken. That's probably your problem. And the only way to really go around that is just turning off the um, ambient light sensor. And... And just save it from there on. Save changes, yes, and it's going to continue going to the windows. Let's fix the camera again. Okay. Let me turn off the light so you guys can see the difference. That there is actually a difference. Okay. Just 
be patient with it. Um, messing with BIOS isn't something usually um, I mess with, but that's the only way to get around that problem. Um, I don't know if it's a common issue with these model, with these laptops, but okay. Now, if we do that again, let me um, zoom in the camera so that I can duplicate the problem. Much easier for you guys, of course. Okay, alright. Now, if we go to the brightness setting, just loading for a minute. Now it's a 0%. Let's see if there, it makes a difference. 25, 50. 75, 100, yep. And you can try doing this with the, um, with the, with the 2540s, 8440Ps, um, or uh, the 50s, uh, the HP Elite, the, whichever series that is. But, um, you can try downloading the drivers first or checking for Windows updates, but don't just go straight to messing with the BIOS. You should update the BIOS first. And then um, configure the ambient setting if 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 this is the problem you're having. I would, but yes, I would recommend you update the BIOS first before doing this, which I had, I actually had to. But um, that's about it. And uh, peace. Hope hopefully this helps some of you guys.